Hi, it's Dave from Drive and Venture. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't done so already, please think about subscribing and putting the notification bell on. Today, I'm reviewing this rather fabulous Carrera T. Yes, welcome inside the cabin this fabulous Carrera T. This was a car that came in for me very much under the radar. It was a car that was offering a little bit less in terms of weight and stuff like rear seats. It was giving you more with a sports exhaust and little subtle touches that made this car feel very special. Special thanks to the owner today for allowing us to have access to this extremely Moorish example. Set up the glorious GT silver colour and those titanium grey decals that signify that this is a T really set this car off extremely nicely. We're filming today in the glorious Trough of Boland which has some rather nice, quiet, twisty roads for us to enjoy this fab car on. What I really love about this car too, it's got lovely, lovely, lovely yellow accents all over the show. So we've got it on the belt, we've got the racing yellow dials, we've got the carbon ceramic brake system with those calipers in yellow. So because the cabin doesn't have the same sound deadening qualities as a standard Carrera, it allows you to enjoy the tone of that flat six in the back a bit more. This has got 370 horsepower, which you know, you might think is a bit low, but it's not. This car picks up and it sings and it goes. And of course, when you've got this fab manual gearbox here, this nice short stubby affair again, with a shorter throw too, just adds, adds so much to the experience and so much to the drive. I know the owner often just has enough and says, sack it, I'm going for a drive. But what a great car to have in the garage to do that drive in. It really is fantastic value for money. Another thing I love about this car is it's got the 918 bucket seats so when you get in it you know you're going to get down to business. It allows you to take the bends and feel what's going on in a way that an 18 way 14 way standard seat isn't going to give you. Another thing that just pops out as soon as you get in, racing yellow dials, the chrono. We've also got the door pulls, you know, you think this was an RS, but no, it's in a base, it's in a base Carrera, it's in a Carrera T. I didn't even have these in my GT3. So all these little touches, okay, yes, it's not a GT car, but you feel like you're in a very special car, a very subtly different car to a Carrera and you are saving with the checkbook on this car. This car spec's £108,500, about £86,000 base spec. I run that up against my GT3 that I got in 2017, £140,500. So again, you've got to look at it and think to yourself, yeah, you're saving an awful lot of money, but you've got an awful lot of car. And it's wonderful as well to have a 911 on the channel that's manual. We're hoping to have some others <laughs> in the future. 911R would be nice to drive. But more about this car. So it's got everything that you need. It's got performance. This car will do 62 in four and a half seconds. It's got 440 newton meters of torque. The twin turbo engine that came to the Carrera in the 991.2 configuration is a super engine. The suspension 
it lets you know what's going on. This is 10 millimeters lower. It feels more connected to what's happening. It's just a super, super package, this car. It really is. Okay, well, the Carrera T. What makes this car different to a base Carrera or the Carrera S? Well, the first thing that you have to notice is the titanium gray detailing on this car, which makes it really, really Moorish for me. So down the door, we've got this Carrera T stripe, the 911 Carrera stripe, and that just uh, really sets the car off. You've got the titanium gray wing mirrors. You've got the special and exclusive titanium gray wheels. And on the back of the car, the Porsche typeface logo, 911 Carrera T. And not only that, we've also got titanium gray rear vents. This car really came along and I think it caught, it certainly caught a few people by surprise, but it was a car that was a homage to the 1967 Carrera T. And it came in right under the radar, but there was things about this car which I think make it quite special. It was 10 millimeters lower in the chassis and this car it's got a lot of sort of GT features even though it's not a GT car and what I like about this car is at sort of base around 88,000 and this fully specced was about 108,000 pounds this car was like about 90,000 pounds less than a GT3 and that's really quite significant I think so this car coming in and around 108,000 pounds gets you into a car which is extremely exciting to drive. So let's check out the interior. Okay, so you get the Carrera T on this plate here as you're getting into the car. This car came along, uh, my pal's pal got this car not long after I got my uh, Carrera 4S. And what I really like about this car <laughs> Apart from the fact that it's in GT Silver, such a classic colour, and the fab yellow seat belts and this absolutely Moorish yellow stitch. And another thing, which I couldn't spec on my car, my car for us wasn't, wasn't available as an option, racing yellow dials. I mean, it's just so, 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 so class. You know, and you even get the door pulls. I didn't get this in my GT3, but yet you got the door pulls. Um, on the Carrera T. So little unique touches which really set the car off for me. You also can't fail to notice the 918 bucket seat. You know, at £3,400, a super option for a non-GT car because it just adds to the experience. It really pin, they pin you in and you can take the corners. You know, you're just not going left and right in the seat. I thoroughly recommend these for a proper, proper driver's seat. So inside the car, you also got an Alcantara lined GT steering wheel. And on, on here you have the mode switch gets you to stand to sport and then to sport plus. But I really love these dials. I mean, they just really stand out. You get the Carrera uh, T logo on, on the instrumentation readout. Also, obviously it's, it's a cabin I'm familiar with because I have it, uh, you know, I have it in my RS. You've got the racing yellow chrono clock leather dash you know i do miss my yellow dash in my gt3 and here we have it again specced on this car the owner was uh, you know i think he saw a car specced with a yellow dash and the stitching around the speakers just really really sets it off and of course you've noticed haven't you this is a manual transmission it's a seven speed and coming to our rendezvous point today to film the seventh gear is so handy on the motorway because just cruises along so effortlessly and that's going to help with your economy. Now the owner has quite a steep drive so we do have axle lift as an option on this car. The Carrera T came with the sports exhaust system and with it being 10 millimeters low obviously then you've got your option for the sports suspension. I think the black roof that you get 
going for privacy glass and then going for the black glass sunroof that tilts and slides makes this car very very classy again you don't you wouldn't get that in a gt car but this gearbox is fab you know again it's alcantara fitment around here is lovely you've got the 911 badge i also really like this black uh, this has got the Carrera T interior pack, which is just really, really Moorish. It's, it's not carbon fibre look, but I think it's like a black piano. It's, it's, it's fab. A smoker's pack here, an extra charging port for your phone. The leather with the, with the yellow really sets it off really, really well. Again, it's, it's Apple CarPlay, you can plug it in, but I mean, the navigation's very good in this car. This is the little neat touch here as well on the door. So you've got a bit of a little bit of capacity here to put some things. It's got our radios in here for today. But your both speakers, then just here you've got this thing which opens up. You get a little bit more stuff in there. In the RS, that's a net, but in here, that's like a plastic cubby hole, which is handy. The other thing about the Carrera T, a little bit less. We're giving you less to give you more. You've got no rear seats. So this car, again, it lost weight. In driving this car today, again, you just feel more of what's going on because again, they took weight out of this car by taking sound deadening out so this car feels a lot more raw and connects you to what's going on a lot more so than a car that's got rear seats in which kind of like dulls out some of the, the noise <laughs> front of the car they only just went for the standard lights so what they did with the generation 2991 is they give you those four led daytime moon lights in the lenses which i think are really really nice also you get a nice mesh on the front as well which is different to again to a base career you just had the slats in there but i think that mesh just helps to you know make it look a bit meaner and the key gives you the auto boot opening so we can open the boot here so there's a little bit more room in a carrera 2 than there is in a four but you know, there's more room there to get away and have a great time driving this car. Now the owner really knew what he was doing when he spec this car. The ceramic brakes, the yellow calipers, you know, really set this car off well with those uh, titanium grey wheels. And the yellow calipers and all the yellow detailing in this car, absolutely spot on. Another thing I love about this car, you've no rear seats. So it's just set up to be all about driving, all about enjoying it. And it's such a pleasure to drive this car. I really enjoy this black inlay trim. It's got the Carrera, Carrera T trim level inside. Everything that's been specified, the rear axle steer, the lower suspension, the bucket seats, the ceramic brakes, the owner knew exactly what he was doing, knew exactly how to spec it, and he spent his £22,000 on options very well for me. And I just love the, uh, the grey titanium detailing on this car, it's just super. What the twin turbo engine gives you as well, it gives you lots of lots of surge low down, that torque, that, that shove, and it it just picks up quick. So it actually for me, four and a half seconds to 60, well, you know, it feels quicker than that. I'm in second gear here now, national speed limit. And you're off. Oh, it's fab. That throw, that flat six going in the back. Just drop it to third, take the bend. The weight distribution, you feel it in the back. It's planted. It thrills the driver. It's what Porsche does. Not only do we have a car that's been ticked with all the right options, but it ticks a satisfaction box. Okay, it's not a, it's not a flat six, NAS braided, it's not GT engine. But you know, for what you what you're paying, for what you're getting, it's it's brilliant value for money. And to think these cars now in the secondary market, there's going to be few of them around, has to be a consideration. Mm. 
know, the lower chassis, the 10 mil, doesn't sound like a lot, but you know the way it handles in the aero, you do you do feel that the car's hunkered down more. It feels as though you're driving a comfortable, a more comfortable GT car. It thrills the driver, but it doesn't have that raw end to it that does switch some people off, and they don't quite like that. I think so. It kind of ticks a box. And if I was looking for a base Carrera and I saw one of these, I'd take one of these, the 991, for what it's giving you. If you're really into driving and you're really into having feel with the driving, then this is the perfect car at the price point that they're at. Obviously, if you can go up to the GT levels and above, then obviously you're going to get a little bit more. But not everyone wants that. Not everyone potentially can afford that so this is where this car slots in comes into your thinking it's perfect I can see why he's done 12,000 miles in this car it's a car you're gonna go I'm taking that one to work I'm taking that one to the shops I'm taking that one on a short run it kind of like beckons you into the cabin just sit down just get your hands on the steering wheel Let's get going, you know, it's just that type of car really, <laughs> but this car is just, it really is fantastic, it really is. So there we have it, the Carrera T from Porsche, what a fabulous car so well priced i can really see these cars on the years ahead standing up very well in the secondary market so if you're in the market for a carrera t you won't be disappointed if you get one thanks very much for watching today's video if you haven't done so already please think about subscribing put the notification button on and as always i'll see you next time